Hello everyone, I'm Andy Lowe from NHL Draft Central and today we'll take a quick look at my notes on 2021 NHL Draft eligible Marshall Lessard. In a 4-1 defeat against Drummondville, the 5'10 right winger finished the game with 0 points, a plus minus a 0 and 8 hits. Lessard receives the puck on the breakout and with both of his partner trailing behind, he decides to dump the puck in to go get it back himself. The defender does a great job of blocking his path and Lessard lacks the quickness and agility to get by. Despite arriving late on the puck, he's still here for the battle, distributing a solid hit on the defenseman. He recovers the puck on a bad pass from his opponent and decides to open the play to his defenseman rather than dumping back the puck to the corner, mainly because that's the first option he saw. Lessard shows his quick but unorthodox stride on this rush opportunity. In the few strides he took between his crossovers, he seems to take very little time to pass from his outside to inside edge, which allowed him to push quickly a fit stride. That said, skating to the loose puck with both hands on his stick forced east-west movement in his upper body rather than north-south, which caused all sorts of havoc. It seemed to translate into a wiping effect in his stride and didn't allow him to push through correctly. His crossovers are where he needs the most work, as he seems to be pedaling a bit rather than pushing through each stride. There are occasions where none of his feet are touching the ice, simply because he was too quick to get his foot back rather than push through. He's basically jumping from skate to skate, which is not efficient at all. He uses his momentum to dump the puck back in the offensive zone. Here, he slowly backchecks behind the odd man rush, and immediately when he sees the forward stop along the boards, he puts a target on his back and separates him completely from the puck allowing for the smooth defensive recovery. That 6 foot 4 and 215 pounds Isaiah Campbell that Lessard just threw around. On this breakout by Lessard, it's once again clear that he'll need some adjustments in his try to be more powerful. He kicks his leg from side to side a bit at the end of each try. But anyway, seeing the defenseman step up for the check, Lessard dumps the puck. He then absorbs the hit beautifully and gets on the forecheck. He shows his great strength by throwing a powerful hit on the defenseman. Unfortunately though, he's unsuccessful in recovering the disc. Here's another occasion where Lessard shows his great strength on the forecheck to deliver a solid check along the board. He can't quite transform it into a recovery this time around. On this counter-attack, we can once again see some problems in his strike, which forces him to use a lot of energy without having that blasting top speed. He looks quick because his stride is, but his speed is decent at best since he lacks power. Knowing he's got a partner with him on the entry, he decides to try a backhand pass but he totally butchers it and turns over the puck. On this zone entry, Lessard showcases his excellent toe drag release into a decent shot, quick and forces the goaltender to make a save. In the third period, Lessard displays a great motor to get on the back check. He manages to cut the pass and obviously finish the play with a check along the board. Here, Lessard gets back to try and disturb the zone breakout, neutralizing the attacker with a small bump. On this puck pursuit, Lessard distributes another solid hit on Dermontville's defenseman. Although the puck is gone and Lessard has no chance of getting it back by throwing his body around, it does set a tone for his team. Now that there's no fan in the arena, I can always hear screams from his teammate on the bench, which probably gives a bit of energy to his team. Lessard is always looking around to lay his body along the boards, which leaves a mark throughout the game. On this breakout, the winger quickly looks over his shoulder and senses the pressure coming to him. He quickly throws the puck to neutral zone to try and dodge the upcoming check, completely missing his pass. Lessard is always looking to throw his body around, and he can be pretty dirty doing so. Here, the attacker falls on his knees, but at no point does Lessard tries to stop, and he follows through with a hit that, fortunately for him, only costs him 2 minutes. On this transition, Lessard takes a quick decision to open the play on the entry, and he gets it back for a quick shot near the crease. He's an energy player, he rushes the transition rather than control the action and think. Even if the game is out of reach, Lessard is still on the ice looking to distribute hits. He gets a good one at this forecheck. 
it should be obvious now that this is his bread and butter. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.